We continue our ranking of the most populated river basins in the world. In the first part, I explained what a river basin is and stopped at the Danube River, which ranks 11th. For those who are new here, I recommend starting with the first part. And now let's continue. And in 10th place is the Mississippi River. If it were a separate country, its population would be 100 million people, and its area would be almost 3 million square kilometers, which is comparable to the area of India. At first glance, it would seem that the river basin lies entirely within the US border, but in fact, the northern part of the Missouri Basin extends into Canada. The economy of such a country would produce $5.6 trillion in GDP annually. Only China and the United States currently have a larger economy. The capital of Mississippi should definitely be St. Louis. This city is located in the center of the river basin and at the confluence of the Mississippi and its main tributary, the Missouri. Columbus, Indianapolis, Denver, Nashville are the largest cities, and New Orleans is the country's main port. The Congo Basin is in ninth place. The bar chart shows that the basin's territory is huge, almost 4 million square kilometers. Visually on the map, the basin looks no bigger than the Volga Basin, although in reality it is two and a half times larger. This is due to the distortion of dimensions on a flat map closer to the poles, and I had a previous video about this. The territory of the Congo Basin is present in almost all countries of Central Africa, from Cameroon to Tanzania. The population of such a country would be 139 million people. However, it would be the poorest country in our ranking, only $827 GDP per capita for one year. The main highlight of the river is its hydropower potential. The fact is that there is a significant elevation difference between the cities of Kinshasa and Matadi, and a huge volume of water is moving rapidly downhill. If a hydroelectric power plant is built in this place, it will be twice as powerful as the largest one in the Three Gorges. Its energy will be enough for the Congo Valley and the whole of Sub-Saharan Africa. Eighth place for another African river, Niger. The population of such a country would be 160 million people. With an area of 2 million square kilometers, the country would be between Mexico and Saudi Arabia. The Niger Valley is located in 11 African countries. Even from Algeria, groundwater flows to the Niger, but this territory produces only 0.3% of the water volume. The largest cities are Kaduna, Bamako, Abuya. The capital is Niamey. Niger's GDP would be $262 billion, which is equal to average American city such as Seattle or Phoenix. Next, we move on to South America. The Parin River forms a huge basin of almost 3 million square kilometers, inhabited by about 160 million people. The Parin Valley is located in Bolivia, Paraguay, Uruguay, as well as in northern Argentina and southern Brazil. Thanks to the densely populated cities of Argentina and Brazil that the economy of a country like Perrin would be quite powerful. More than one and a half trillion dollars, which is roughly equal to Spain. An interesting point, a bucket of water that you pour in Sao Paulo will float through Rosario and Buenos Aires before reaching the Atlantic Ocean. The sixth place is taken by the Huang He, or Yellow River. This is obvious if you look at the photo of the river. It is really yellow. The river basin is entirely within China. The nature of the flow is very interesting. The river makes a big loop to the north, carrying water through the Gobi Desert. 
Such a country would have the same population as Brazil, and a GDP as Indonesia. It was difficult for me to determine the capital, as I did not notice any clear candidates along the Huang He River, so I decided on Xi'an. It is an ancient city, and was the center of several dynasties. It was from this city that the Silk Road to Europe once began. Fifth place Nile, probably the most important river for Africa. It has a huge basin of more than 3 million square kilometers. It is located in 12 countries, and is second only to the Danube in this respect. Just think about it. Rainwater from northern Tanzania travels 6,000 kilometers along Africa, and then another 4,000 kilometers across the Mediterranean before reaching the ocean. There are six African capitals in the Nile Valley. Obviously, Khartoum is suitable for the role of the capital, as it is located in the middle reaches of the river, in the city of the confluence of the White Nile and the Blue Nile. Cairo, Addis Ababa, and Alexandria are the main cities. Despite the huge population of 230 million people, the economy of such a country would be at the level of an average European state. For example, Austria or Ireland. The northern country would be Muslim, and the south would be dominated by Christianity and other faiths. The fourth place is the biggest surprise for me. The river I've never heard of before is the Xijiang. The river basin is located in southern China, and a small part in Vietnam. The population of the Xijiang is 250 million people. This is comparable to the population of Indonesia. But more interestingly, about 85 million people are concentrated in the River Delta. It is also called the Pearl River Delta, and includes the Guangzhou and Shenzhen metropolitan areas, as well as autonomous regions such as Hong Kong and Macau. It is therefore not surprising that Xi Jiang's GDP would reach an incredible $2.3 trillion, which is even larger than the GDP of Brazil or Canada. The Indus opens the top three most populated rivers. It is home to 320 million people, only India, China and the United States would be ahead in terms of population. The Indus Basin is located in four countries, China, Afghanistan, India, and Pakistan. 40% of the territory lies in the highlands. This is one of the highest rates in our ranking. Kabul and Lahore would be the largest cities in such a country. And Islamabad, in my opinion, is best suited to be the capital. Because of its huge population, its GDP per capita would be one of the lowest in Asia, less than $1,500. It should also be noted that Indus would be the largest Islamic state in the world, ahead of even Indonesia. The second place goes to the Yangtze River. It is the longest, most flooded, and most populated river in the world, with its entire basin located in one country. It is China. Almost half a billion people live here, which is 35% of the population of all of China. This country would own the most powerful hydroelectric power plant in existence, the Three Gorges. I was surprised that the Yangtze is $1 billion ahead of Mississippi in terms of GDP. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, you are looking at the most powerful economy in the world within the river basin. I have chosen Wuhan as the capital city, and Shanghai will be the largest city and the main port. And here is the leader of the rating, the Ganges, the most populated river valley in the world. It's hard to believe, but the basin is home to about 600 million people. Two of the three most populous regions in the world, Uttar Pradesh and Bihar, 
lie entirely in the Ganges Valley. I have a specific video on my channel about the most populated regions of the world. I recommend watching it. Delhi and Dhaka are among the largest cities in the world. Together, they are home to about 54 million people. However, I would single out the city of Varanasi as the capital. It has a special religious significance for the people of India. The GDP of the Ganges Valley is commensurate with the Netherlands, where the population is 40 times smaller. As a result, the population of the Ganges is very poor, and the GDP per capita is less than $2,000 per year. You might ask, where are the Amazon and other major rivers in Siberia? And I will answer, in one of the next videos, I will show you the top of the world's most flooded and powerful rivers. Please support the channel by subscribing to YouTube and Patreon. This is a good motivation for me to create high quality content for you. See you in the next videos.